Nothing wrong with having a little bit of a belly. Have you guys seen World's Strongest Man? I was talking to Armin um, about this. Guys, the world, the world's strongest men do not live a healthy life. No. They do like okay, so strength and health are not always the same thing. The world's strongest men obviously misuse um hormones or what and steroids and other things to become the world's strongest men. They do not live healthy lives, okay? Um bodybuilders also take different kind of hormones and and other supplements and they also do not live healthy lives okay so don't think like the strongest men because they're the strong strongest that means what they're doing is the healthiest thing to do it's definitely not okay um it's been scientifically proven beyond reasonable doubt that if you lose fat okay um to a certain level it's healthier okay you live a healthier, longer, more quality, better quality life if you lose fat unless you are at 10% body fat percentage or 10 to 15 body fat percentage. Then you're not going to see much more uh, effect, much better returns on losing fat. In fact, if you go below 8%, now losing fat is actually becoming unhealthy. Okay, so there is, there is such a thing as being too shredded okay but i'm suspecting none of you any of us is at the point of worrying about losing too much fat okay i could almost guarantee that there's nobody here in the live chat or in the stream that has reached eight percent body fat percentage so every single one of us here could could get some benefit from losing some fat okay so there's that yeah but the world's strongest men are so wide and fat because they need to set like get a really low center of gravity because of the sheer like enormity of the weights that they're trying to push above their body and do all this stuff with i mm. really interesting stuff that they do but yeah it's extreme um and by the way wait i want to say something pa past you ethno nationalist said in a comment that i hate them because of their name no i don't hate you but you can't blame me when you say that you're an ethno nationalist, that I'm, it, it puts me on edge, okay? But I don't hate you. You actually have interesting comments. Ghost Bunny is saying, Armin, stop attacking me. I'm not attacking you. I'm just telling you what the data shows, okay? If you are a smoker and I say smoking is unhealthy, I'm not attacking you for smoking. I'm just telling you what the facts are. And then uh, you could decide whatever you want with it, but. I just it's just important to know that, like hey guys if some if i tell you being fat is unhealthy okay and you know that information and you still decide to be fat that's okay that's your decision as long as you have all the correct information okay this is not an attack on fat fat, uh, fat people this is just giving you all the information that is available and then you could make whatever decision with the information available to you that you want like this is not an attack just if bad. anything, it's 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 loving uh, promotion of one's own well-being. Yeah. Oh wait, I have to actually clarify. When I said eight percent, uh, Mary Jeller saying Susanna is probably eight uh, eight percent body fat. No, actually, the body fat percentages I mentioned were for men. Women are on average are a lot have a lot more. Um, high uh, body fat percentage especially because of because of boobs right so i could lose a pound no like like even the most shredded women are much higher in body fat than the most shredded men because women um have you know they have fat in their boobs so and other places anyways eight percent eight percent for women body fat percentage i think would be dead so like, <laughs> like three for men three percent <clears throat> below three percent body fat would be dead for women i don't but know also we are not health experts okay we give all the give all the I, disclaimers we're not an expert but every single expert and every single information out there will tell you that being fat is not healthy facts facts yes um 
Yeah, also this one is true to pa uh, passionate and passionate saying. This is actually another reason. World's strongest man uh, con um, contestants are fat because you need to eat a massive calorie surplus to hold onto that amount of muscle. That's also very true. You, you gain, when it comes to becoming the strongest, you gain nothing from losing fat, okay? Nothing from losing that much fat, okay? If you're a bodybuilder, the aesthetics matter so you gain a lot for being shredded if you're trying to be the world's strongest man there's there's no reason for you to withhold eating <laughs> okay i mean it, it's unhealthy but if you're trying to be the strongest you have to eat as much as you possibly can it makes no sense for you to not to eat again that's not the healthiest thing to do though Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder Armin Abhabi blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.